Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review and swatches of Color Drain's newest addition to their collection, the Satin Cream Lipsticks. Um, Color Drain, when Color Drain launched, I think in 2013, their first babies were the regular bullet lipsticks and now they're bringing it back with more colors. Um, when I started with Color Drain, I found out about them when they started their liquid lipstick line so I have never tried these before. So I have um, all seven shades here. I'm gonna show you guys what they look like in a second. So there are seven shades. There's Soul, there's Foxy Lady, um, Cameo. I know there's Cherry Blossom. I'm excited to try that one. There's Empathy. What else is this? Charmed and one more, Socialite. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what they look like. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's a really, really chic white and gold packaging that I absolutely love. I'm a sucker for packaging, y'all already know this. So you open it up and you twist up the lipstick and this is charmed. So I'm going to swatch everything for you guys and I'll be back at the end as usual for a review and see how we like it. So I'll see you guys soon.
welcome back this is cherry blossom you guys I have cherry blossom in liquid lipstick I have it in lip gloss now I have it in lipstick honestly this version of cherry blossom isn't as blue base red at I mean it's, it's still a blue base red but it's not as thick as the matte but honestly y'all not everyday matte I ain't mad at it um this is still a very vibrant blue base red and I absolutely love this shade um, to think that I, when I was younger, I hated red lipstick. I don't know what I was thinking. But back in the day, I used to think red lipstick made my lips just look humongous. But now, honey, I got like 50 of them. But I'm mad. But overall review. These, so when I first started swatching, I used my Aquaphor right here to moisturize for the first swatch. And then I, when I applied it, I found out that it was very, very soft and moves on like butter. So you don't even really need to moisturize if you don't want to. It reminds me of the MAC lipsticks that we have, but just like a softer, glossier version. Um, obviously, it's not matte. It is a satin lipstick, and I'm here for it. Uh, my favorite shades, I can't think of the names, but the only one that I didn't like was the, um, let me see if I can find the name. Okay, so out of all the seven shades, my least favorite was Socialite, for obvious reasons. Um, I'm not really a nude person, but everything else worked well for my skin tone. And I actually liked um, the other nudes in this collection, except for Socialite. I feel like Socialite can be worn with like a brown, like the Anastasia brown that I wore, Brandy, last time when I filmed a video. I could like mix those two together, but overall, I would highly recommend these. Y'all know that I live for color drain. And I like that it is very comfortable. Even though it's not matte, it's still comfortable and long wearing. Um, it's just like your back in the day typical tube lipstick, you know what I mean? So like I said, everyone is going back to this. And the difference between, what I notice is that when I wear MAC lipsticks throughout the day, sometimes they crack my lips. Um, this didn't do that even though they bled onto my lips when I was swatching and that's because I swatched seven back to back you know what I mean so they obviously are gonna bleed into your into your lips but long the long run of it I've had this cherry blossom on for what like 45 minutes to an hour now and it's still very comfortable it doesn't feel drying and sometimes when I wear lipsticks they crack my lips and I you can kind of see it underneath the lipstick itself that your lips are chapped um, after swatching all these, it doesn't look that way to me. I'm looking in the mirror right now. And it doesn't feel crackly or drying or anything. So, Alright you guys, so just some size comparisons of some tube lipsticks that I have here. Um, Colored Rain's satin lipsticks are 4 grams per tube. So they go that far out. So MAC tubes are actually 3 grams, so 3.01. And um, I have my Anastasia here, and this is a matte lipstick, and this one is 3.5 grams. So I feel like um, size-wise, this might have a little bit more than the rest. I have another tube lipstick that I just want to compare the size with, the Melt Cosmetics brand. So let me grab that in one second. Okay, so I have my Melt Cosmetics lipstick tube here, and this is 3.2 grams, and this is also matte, and looks like that. I rarely even use this, y'all. This looks just like Brandy from um, Anastasia, but anyways, I just wanted to throw that out there, and the pricing on the Color Drain, I think, is about $17 or $18 per tube, and you can use 10% off coupon codes that are everywhere with um, a lot of influencers. So overall, I like this collection. I'm very, very impressed. And like I said, I wasn't into makeup in 2013, yeah. And this is when Color Drain actually launched their brand and it started off with these lipsticks. So I wasn't into, I, I don't even think I had Instagram in 2013, to be honest. So I didn't even know that these, you know, were the products that they started off with and now they're going back to making them apparently it was a huge hit before and some people were raving about some shades that they were bringing back and adding to the collection but overall um, I'm sold on these let me know what you guys think in the comment section and my next video should be coming up shortly it is a Colourpop concealers y'all 
the shipping took over 10 days but we're gonna talk about that in the next video but anyways thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you guys think about these colors in the comment section and i'll see y'all in my next video bye guys